All right. Hey, everybody. My name's Kira. With me, as always, is Mr. Kit here. And uh, (laughs) we are reacting today to Unstoppable Moron Makes Nuclear Wasteland Noticeably Worse. Fallout New Vegas by the Russian Badger, suggested by Vincent Connett. All right. And be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and give praise to the Alpha Omega Bomb. All right. If you got the reference to the movie I was talking about, type it in the comment section below. (laughs) Wow, those are some powerful guns. Jeez. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Spoiler warning, New Vegas has an incredible story and it's a shame to ruin it with spoilers, so consider this a fair warning. Welcome to New Vegas, a wonderful place that makes you- Fuck the NCO! Fuck you! <clears throat> Welcome to New Vegas, a wonderful place that makes you say, that's- By the way, NCR for life. That's New Vegas, Vegas, Vegas baby. baby! Have you ever seen a man use nuclear weapons in close quarters combat? That's Vegas, baby. You ever murdered somebody just so you could take a one hour nap in their filthy cock? <laughs> That's Vegas, baby. That's Vegas, baby. You ever seen someone covered in pitch, set on fire, and tossed into the Grand Canyon only to somehow crawl out and survive? We can't expect God to do all the work. Jesus fucking Christ. That's Vegas, baby. But I know wow. Yeah. Empty chatter. How about we start getting somewhere? The time for talk has passed. The Lord's work must be done. Fall in New Vegas is the story of a courier delivering a mysterious package to the New Vegas Strip that's robbed by a charismatic gangster and left to die in the Mojave Wasteland. Truth is... The game was rigged from the start. Fortunately, a man by the name of Doc Mitchell digs the lead out of your brain, picks up the pieces, and puts you back together like wow. Humpty Dumpty, introducing you to character creation. I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull oh, wow, out that guy lead out. Special stats come first. In the f- hey, sometimes the best people out there are the people who live in the desert and dig bullets out of yeah. okay? So let's not start judging people. All right, people. fair enough, fair enough. All right, we don't judge people I don't mean here. to judge. I don't Form mean to strength, judge. Strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility and luck. luck each making you good or bad at certain things on a scale from one to ten you got ten agility that makes you the deadliest gunslinger this side of the mississippi cash you got money one charisma well negotiating with you has got to be the most awkward and infuriating interaction two human beings can have just give me some goddamn medics and fuck off will you because i'm a bumbling <laughs> moron and play video games like a fucking ape i said to hell with the balance allocation they suggest and went straight up lord death of murder mountain 10 strength 7 endurance 10 agility and 10 luck god what the fuck is this bitch? all right let's state the obvious there's something wrong with me. I am Hercules' bigger cousin Strong, with tough as nails endurance, walks on water agility, and two-headed coin flip lucky. If I so much as breathe on an organism in the Mojave, you better believe it'll end in a critical hit with enough force to wow. overcome a small government. Like the sight of your own blood? I don't know. Do you? <laughs> However, it also means that I it's have the like perception of a deaf bat, contact. the charisma of a misanthrope, and intelligence so low that calling me dumber than a fucking wow. brick is yeah. perfectly accurate. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? These base stats are complemented by skills, which are heavily influenced by where you put your special points. Like, remember my 10 agility? That means jacked guns and jacked sneak. Remember my one charisma that makes my speech and barter barely resemble that of a sentient human being? I'm so terrifying, yet so lacking in social skills skills even the most basic conversation probably feels like a hostage negotiation well good luck with that again lord death of murder mountain which means specking <laughs> guns sneak and explosives so i can exterminate any life form i come into contact wow. with from the tiniest praying mantis to the saltiest powder gang take this you stupid fucking bug Skill points are rounded out by traits, which I just adore. Because on one hand, right? Only in Vegas, baby. Only in Vegas. Only in Vegas. Only in Vegas. What happens in Vegas? Which gives you a higher critical hit. No, no. What happens in New Vegas is probably going to be spread all across the world. Everyone's going to know what you did in New Vegas. And regular Vegas, we'll let you decide. Chance, but your weapons wear out faster. Bang, bang, had enough. Bang, bang. 
His my crossbow. goodness. But on the other, you can pick some shit like my favorite, Wild Wasteland, which enables bizarre events to occur, like taking some Dicey's rugs and fighting a fucking Yaogwai that's on fire. Have at it, you stupid yeah. son of a bitch. Take drugs, kill a bear. Uh, what? Yeah. Whoa! Ah! 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 There's an ah! flaming Yaogwai? What the fuck? That's fly? awesome. Jeez. Yeah, uh. <laughs> Once you're done choosing who you want to be and enter the Mojave, that's is the next big one you got to learn. Because 90% of staying alive in the wasteland is making sure everything else around you is dead. <laughs> Ow. The Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, or VATS, is the tightest shit ever. I fucking love VATS because it allows hey. you to freeze time deal. There's Kennedy. Yeah, style. that's what I was saying. Exactly where uh, you want to shoot no. and the probability of hitting your God, target. Let's... Watch this center mass. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not mandatory. You don't have to use it. You can just pass things away like you would in any other shooter. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Me, Gecko. Personally, I use it every chance I get. Just the combination of precise shots, the slow motion, and some of the hilarious outcomes, I just can't help oh myself. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, the hilarious shit, you can select multiple targets. You can be choosy about body parts, like hitting someone's right arm to knock a weapon out of their hand or someone's legs so they can't flee, especially if that person just won the lottery. Who won the lottery? I did! I feel bad oh, about no. using the 40 mil for this. Oh man! Oh, oh God! God. Extremely close to a well, he had it coming. Perfect he never screamed this one. It exploded his leg. No, well, here's the thing. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I, I need to let y'all know this. If you win the lottery, don't freaking broadcast it. Yeah. Simple as that. Agreed. Finally, five check the wrong person. Whoa, no, no, not shooting Kachino. Thank you very much. I guess we are shooting Kachino. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. And other times, Vats is just too accurate. I never thought it was possible to be too consistent, but a snafu with dynamite proved me very wrong. Rise and shout, uh. Captain Parker. Oh, ah! No! That's okay. Whoops! <laughs> I didn't bounce through the oh. Oh shit, everything's away now. I'm not yeah, no now. shit. I'm so dead. Oh god. I'm oh Even shit. Even though I may have blown my legs off with dynamite, my heart was in the right place because what I was fighting for was totally worth it. A bed. Just like that, <laughs> are absolutely critical to your survival because the wasteland is full of scary shit that takes your health away and breaks down your limbs. That is scary, but that is a thing, a slow runner. Hey, wake up, Frank. Wake up, Frank! But if you sleep in a bed, even for just an hour, you regain all of your health and all of your broken limbs are Ooh, magically fixed. What? Don't ask me how it works. I don't know. Hey, a good bed and a mattress. Like yeah. healthy from Tigtone. Yeah, there we go. About you guys, but I think that's worth <laughs> cutting someone's head off with a switchblade. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, baby! Oh, Jesus. Ooh, that critical. Final word of advice here is to always check if there's an open bed before you kill anybody. Because yeah. I've slaughtered entire tents of people and taken naps next to corpses only to realize there was an open bed right next to them. I just want to take a nap. Let me just take, a, take nap, a nappy nap. Asshole. Oh With my god. Covered, it's time to make our way to New Vegas so we can find that bastard Benny and figure out why some stupid platinum chip was worth blowing someone's head off. Now's a good time to remind you that I'm a complete fucking oaf. I'm glossing over a ton of stuff and probably leaving some important shit out. So remember that my advice is meeting. Let's see. Uh, wanted. Insufferable moron. Dead or just plain dead? Yeah. Please just kill the fucking prick. 5,000. Ooh, caps. Extremely fucking dangerous. Approach with caution. Nice. That yeah, seems reasonable. Bliss and time is a flat circle. There's more to it, but we don't have the time. By which I mean, yes. you don't. On the road to New Vegas, I prefer to trust absolutely no one, because the wasteland is never as it seems. See that nice old lady running the motel with the giant dinosaur? That well, she just sold old. someone's wife. Oh. <laughs> What's that? She sold somebody's wife. Oh. oh, she's a slave trader, that evil bastard. And... Oh my wow. God! For the sum of one thousand bottle caps and those of her unborn child, for the sum that evil lady kill her. Into slavery. Wow, Jeannie May, you negotiated the sale of a person and only got a thousand caps. Killing everyone that doesn't explicitly offer value to you is a wonderful policy. Because as far as I'm concerned, this wasteland belongs to me, and the weak should fear the strong. It's a part of life out here. 
Best to accept it. Upside here, looting is a dream because robbing a corpse is a far oh, smoother experience than bartering with a living being. So and who knows? You might just get lucky and find a mysterious big iron that has sound effects. <laughs> Yeehaw, chuckle fucks. <laughs> yeah. Downside here, everyone that you haven't killed yet hates your guts. Oh man, do people ever think you're an abomination. So interacting with the various tribes of the Mojave is significantly more painful. The NCR has declared you a terrorist. Wherever the NCR has jurisdiction, you will be shot on sight. Wow. It's about fucking time, fellas. <laughs> I'll get to these various <laughs> tribes in due time. All I'm saying is, you have choices. Be good, be evil, kill nobody, kill everybody. I don't give a shit, make up your own destiny. Hear that? We have options. My destiny was to confront Benny at the Topps Casino on the New Vegas Strip and figure out why the hell that platinum chip was so goddamn important. But just before I did, I was reminded of why my seemingly dumbass build is so damn brilliant thanks to maxing out Sneak. You see, none of these casinos on the Strip want a bumbling wastelander walking into all kinds of dangerous yeah. weapons, so they make you check them at the door to avoid any violence. If your stat is high, you can fit an arsenal in the door, no problem. I can get weapons past the guards, no problem. Uh -huh. <laughs> One fella I knew was able to slip a pistol past the guards. You? I'm guessing you could get a machine gun by it. Hey, <laughs> welcome to the top set talent casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. <laughs> Sure, here you go. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Okay, so they wow. didn't find two 357s, a 44 Magnum, two 10 millimeter pistols, three 9 millimeter pistols, a <laughs> combat knife, eight six of dynamite, a <laughs> three four six of dynamite, a mysterious Magnum, a <laughs> spike knuckles, a switchblade, and a tire iron. Sneak is America. broken. I'm gonna repair all this, by the way. <laughs> freedom is freedom, folks. And you know what? That's that's the kind of stuff we need. More heroes like this. This allows you to kill Benny any way you like. I was surprised he didn't perish from a heart attack the moment he laid eyes on me still breathing. What in the goddamn? Blow his guards up with a frag grenade and finish him off with dynamite. Hell, you could even let him flee for the time being and kill him later over and over again when his hands are tied thanks to the joy of quick saving. Now you're talking. That is the ring-a-ding move, baby. Yeah, you better believe that Benny starts sweating what? when you hit the F5 key. <laughs> Some of the, slaves the truth is, the game was raped from the start. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him a few more times just so he doesn't come back like I did. Oh my I god! Just march halfway across the Mojave to kill Benny with a tire iron. Oh! You're damn right. A fair kill. <laughs> with a tire iron? Oh, can you actually crucify him? You sick, vindictive fuck! Happy now, you twist. Oh ball. my I goodness! Still feel like tire iron is the best. It is always the best. And if you think killing Benny is the climax of your New Vegas crusade, ooh baby, are you ever ring a ding wrong? I'm not talking about Maria, ooh, the baby. pistol that he shot you in the face with that you get to use however you like. Truth is, Remy, the game was rigged. <laughs> I'm not talking about his ace checkered suit that I primarily use to get discounts at gun runners. This robot is giving me a 2% discount just because I'm wearing a checkered suit. I'm talking about Yeah, that's well, just, awesome. Just as a heads up, checkered suits will get you a 2% or dare I say it in certain states, depending on state law, 10% off of guns of anything. Nah. -uh. It's not true. Yeah, I'm saying it on the internet so it is. <laughs> okay, that's that's but that's that true. that mysterious platinum chip that cracks the entire story wide open, and I'm sure you're just itching to know why. What the fuck do you think, asshole? Apparently, the man after this platinum chip you were carrying when Benny blew your head off is Mr. House, the mastermind Ew. running the New Vegas Strip, and why am I still talking about him when his ego does such a better job? By the time I was 30 years old, I was a billionaire 30 times over. I founded and ran a so vast a economic empire. Do you really think I'm going to let an up start come into my home and ransom my property to me Sounds i spent like a prick. two centuries searching for the platinum chip it's my invention my property mine now be a good courier and deliver it and he's angry yeah. for a reason yeah. because his position of power comes from his securitrons you know those big blue robot guys that can either kill you on site or become your cowboy best friend had it partner welcome to yeah. new vegas well that platinum yeah. chip you're carrying contains That's an update to their operating system that turns them from ordinary foot soldiers capable of small arms fire into missile blasting grenade launching behemoths ready to vaporize any oh adversary into like, dust. Behold, for the first time, Securitron's running the Mark II OS. The M235 missile launcher gives the Securitron the ability to engage ground and air targets at significantly longer range. And a rapid fire G28 grenade launcher 
sure what on earth? Yeah. Benny basically blew her head off because the giant Securitron army is currently running Windows XP and you were carrying a licensed version of Windows 10. And that's not oh, even the juiciest okay. part. Benny modified his own Securitron, appropriately named Yes Man, to help him steal the Platinum chip, overthrow Mr. House, commandeer his Securitron army, and shoot him out of the New Vegas Strip. Though I think Benny would put it differently. Baby, getting outplayed and getting cheated ain't the same thing. Yes Man is willing to tell you all of this because he's <laughs> able to say no. And I know this word doesn't mean anything anymore but he is literally a yes man but hey not my fault i can't say no i love this guy That's because so he politely funny. lays out your options for shaping the future of vegas and forces you to finally decide whose side you're on leading up to the final showdown for all the mojave marbles at hoover dam we shall see how brave you are when nailed to the walls of hoover dam your body facing west so you may watch your world die on one side you've got the new california republic or N. NCR for life, folks. CR <laughs> representing old world values like democracy, taxes, and the rule of law, but freedom. I'll keep it a buck. Fuck freedom. the NCR. Wow. Oh my god, the NCR is unbearable, pun intended. Because even as the good guys, they make it impossible to like them without condescending and pedantic they are. That's Especially funny. Especially when it comes to violence. This is NCR property, and we have guns. So you can only do as we please here. And it would please us if you got the hell off our lawn. Wow. I honestly can't wait to sell you into slavery. I'm not even kidding. They are such wow. chicken shit cowards. Like, they are so terrified of the Legion crushing them at Hoover Dam, half of them are contemplating suicide. The Legion breaks through our defenses. I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. If the wow. Legion breaks through our defenses, I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. Wow. If the Legion breaks through our defenses. Guys, come on. Mo stay motivated here, okay, NCR folks. I get it. You want to kill yourself. Oh, Shut yeah, the yeah. fuck up. Jeez, they all have the same As line, too. Her, I have sub brick intelligence. Like, who should we put in charge of a vital solar power plant? How about some bum off the street named Fantastic with no experience whatsoever? That scientist we hired has got to be the dumbest asshole I've ever <laughs> They asked me how well I understood theoretical physics. I said I had a theoretical degree. In <laughs> I said, welcome aboard. Got the whole NCR suckling my teats. And it feels so good. The Legion, on the other okay. hand, absolutely based. And the shootouts you witness between these two rival factions tells you everything you need to know. God damn, did the Legion ever crush the NCR? They just get some. <laughs> You like that? But wait, don't they propagate slavery and crucify anyone that defies their will? Degenerates like you belong on a cross. 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 Yes, but <laughs> yeah. if there's one thing okay. that I hate more than slavery, it's taxes. The worst kind of slavery. <laughs> so when I say Awe, you say True to Kaisar. As evil as they may be, at least. Uh, excuse me, there's only one Caesar, and that is Julius Caesar. Are in. These fools are pale imitations. Oh my goodness. Hashtag vote for Caesar. At least they're not pretending like the NCR is, talking mad shit for having no real fighting prowess, and Kaisar's right hand man Lanius can tell you what happens when words aren't backed by strength. Our roads into NCR are hung with the bodies of those who attempted to negotiate with us. That's the kind of act the non verba ethos I can get behind. Sure, the Legion might be a little intense, but at least they treat me like an equal and have conviction in what they're Pursuing. We will take Hoover Dam and move forward until our feet crush the setting sun beneath them. The good of the NCR or the bad of the Legion aren't your only choices either, because Mr. House is always an option, <laughs> a very corporate tyrannical option to no, hand the keys that. to the Mojave, but I guess oh, when yeah. your other choices are cowards or slavers, it's not so bad. My army will do what an army does best, defend territory from invaders, and maintain order. But if you want a wild card option, pick up where Benny left off and side with Yes Man. He'll help you take the keys in the Mojave by stealing the Securitrons for yourself. An army like that should be enough to defend Vegas from, I'm gonna say, anybody. That way, you get to murder the belittling Mr. House and conquer the wasteland with a friendly face. What? And before you say, <laughs> you can't just kill Mr. House because of Robo, I told you oh to reserve. <laughs> I lose karma for that? He was already a vegetable. I'm just making a mashed potato. No matter oh my god! Think, That's what he looked like. You're familiarize yourself with the smaller tribes of the Mojave to determine whether you want their help in the Battle of Hoover Dam or exterminated for 
their lack in cooperation. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. You've got the appropriately named <laughs> boomers <laughs> because they're terrified of anything that foreign to yes them, man. labeling <laughs> outsiders as savages, and you gotta make it through That's an so artillery funny. barrage if you even want to talk to them. They must be a really nasty people. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, this is by far the most accurate artillery barrage that I've ever seen. Like, this is not the way that artillery works, so. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? I didn't run through all that artillery to hear your stupid question. They were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades. Burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat. Yes, young okay. Pete. Burning people with flamethrowers. <laughs> neat. Sure, they're intolerant, but they taught me this field trip to meet other tribes wasn't just so I could check a box of exterminate or don't exterminate. <laughs> because if you help them out, they can have a big impact at Hoover Dam. So fine, boomers, I'll fix your stupid plane and make your dreams come true. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety. Running high explosive ordinance upon ignorant savages. Can you dial it back on that word? Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Are hilarious because everybody makes fun of them for being filthy drug traffickers that live in tents. The cons are just. They're a dirty people. They live in tents like animals, and they're very rude. And I think you can deal with them diplomatically to win their favor, but uh, I've never tried that option. No. <laughs> I hit that. Oh, I can hit that. You know what's even better than killing drug traffickers? Killing drug traffickers on their own product. I'm so high off a of psycho right now. Diplomatic efforts are better spent on the Brotherhood of Steel, because if you run their silly errands, they can hook you up with special power armor training Ooh. to wear this god-tier steel suit. That's gotta be so heavy. Well, I, I would assume there's like mechanics in there to help you move around. Why would you assume that? Because it's body armor. I'm similar with the realm of 40k with the body armor. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just take time and place in the same place as no. 40k. I didn't no, seem no, like it. No, 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 no. Just no, no. no relation. But but if you're wearing body armor like that, it kind of have you stuff. You would assume because if you can't, just well, look I wouldn't like, assume that. No. You know, you gotta have like the. No, I would assume that it's heavy and. Well, it's probably heavy, but there's probably some machine. A pain in there to that, carry around. To, to, to help you out, move around. No, I don't think so, kid. So you wouldn't like to have a, a mech suit body armor. Thing like that. I think it'd be weird if it tried to, like, imagine what my moves were while I was imagining. I mean, is that what you mean? Like when you like, say yeah, mechanical? Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, like. No, I'm not thinking about that. All right, here we go. <laughs> Everybody looking for that platinum chip when I got that platinum drip. By the there way, if you go. think that T-51 is cooler than T-45, you are actually psychotic. And I'm not going to recommend that you pickpocket the heavy hitters and initiate their bunker self-destruct sequence once you've got the training in your hands. But yoink, a yoink, I'll take... That? Are you sure you would like to initiate self Yes. Yes. You can I kill would. me all you want. I've already won. I've already won. It's already too late. I bet you regret putting that explosive collar on me now, assholes. <laughs> Good. That's one less loose end. Consider them forgotten. A lot of <laughs> that predict they'll be our biggest enemy. Forgotten. Not all the tribes are out in Bumblefuck either. You've also got to make contact with some of the families running other prominent casinos on the Strip. Like so the even Jetsons? if you already oh, know like, you want like them exterminated, the you at least have to look them in the face before you kill them, Benny style. Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig. The Omertas that run a giant whorehouse called Gamora deserve Ooh. to be wiped off the face of the earth. Not just because they kill hookers, not because they're stockpiling arms, but because they're complete pieces of shit and it takes like three pickpockets to dismantle their whole operation. What the fuck are you looking at? The fuck are you looking at? What the, what the fuck, fuck are you, looking, are you at? looking at? I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. <laughs> what the fuck do you want? Well, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> no, fuck these assholes. Uh, I don't give half a dick what you heard. Wow. Get the fuck out of my face before I burn. Your sorry ass. That's awesome. And I will take that off your hands. Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? Just like that, all your guns are gone. And as much as I'd love to tell you that I had an elaborate way of destroying Kachino and his cronies, you already saw how that ended. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> oh, no. The White Glove Society at the Ultralux are by far the worst liars I have ever come across. When people proactively scream at you, <laughs> you <better be> <laughs> <laughs> the last time 
the white glove society has never and will never consume <laughs> you know what's it okay you know it's first written of all, in the charter is so, that really so, what she says yeah so when someone says that to me it's like all right let me see I'm the charter. <laughs> one, show me the charter or is it I'm walking out the front door. Instead of reviewing this footage, I feel like I can tell you exactly what she meant by saying those words. The White Glove Society will consume human flesh for any reason. We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. Wow. Oh no, this is another one that's just too that kind perfect of goes to saying, you know? Up. We engage in cannibalism here under <laughs> any circumstances. It gets even better once you press them on it. Like, why do so many people disappear while staying at your hotel and they're like well, uh, we are a private investigator to solve uh, that mystery go ask him about it and he's dead in his room i had our maitre d mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied oh really oh really Yo, holy Yo, shit, he's, he's dead. dead. And the White Glove Society sends a bunch of dudes in tuxedos to fight oh a man God. in power armor. Great idea. Their latest victim is the son of this rancher named Heck Gunderson, and he is Heck. definitely worth rescuing Heck. in the basement. Not only because of the conversation you get to have with the chef. Who the fuck do you think I am? I'm the fucking god of New Vegas Brahmin Fusion Cuisine, that's who. No, wow. no, that doesn't even give me the credit I deserve. I fucking invented edible food. Do you that's like eating? Claim. Good. You owe me your entire goddamn garbage existence. Keep talking shit, Philippe. Shit. Not only because you get to feel the adrenaline rush of fighting 15 cannibals at once. Oh, no, run away, kid! Run away! Oh god. Fuck, I got Take the that, cannibals. Not only because you can punch Marjorie's stupid head off and even the Mater D if you feel so inclined. What the fuck? Oh. How does she have such a strong head? Oh god. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Degenerates like you belong on oh. <laughs> But because once his legs you do get off. him back to his dad, he shoots up the whole casino in a fit of rage and cuts off the entire food supply to the New Vegas Strip. Oh shit, you like that? Ooh. Damn, alright boy. Oh. Nailed him. Well, that does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Hank Gunderson long as they live. They control the food. Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. Let them starve. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole. That sounds like a fantastic, fantastic idea. idea. Hell, there are even tinier tribes that aren't mandatory to meet with, but worth exterminating anyway. So I'm looking at you, fiends. What the fuck are you doing here? You got some kind of fucking death wish, asshole? Final warning, asshole. All right, asshole. You just <laughs> fucked yourself. The only <laughs> annoying part about the fiends are their traps, which they end up triggering themselves most of the time. Oh my god. Idiot. Did he just trigger his own trap? That's funny. Oh, he sure did. Genius. Oh god. Oh god. She definitely tripped it. Ah! <laughs> It's even worse that these traps defy the laws of time and space. Like one time I triggered a trap and a second before it exploded, I escaped outside and thought I was safe. Little did I know that the timeline inside this building freezes once you leave it. So no matter how long I spent outside, that no. was still one second yep. away from exploding on good. the inside. On top of that, New Vegas saves anytime you enter a building. So I was now auto saved right inside that building no. with a grenade about to explode, which eventually formed an infinite loop of that's amazing the auto save yes that same grenade and over and yes over and over for all of eternity going back inside all good all good <laughs> oh, oh, god. my god oh, oh, shit. what happens if i load though wait what happens when i load <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen forever now <laughs> because it auto loads the auto save from the doorway Oh, oh man! man. <laughs> Speaking of explosions, I don't How do you get out of that? Gangers, but for some the reason, game? they hate me. I think like, so. Their maybe. reliance on dynamite, I really admire. Why can't we be friends? I'm pretty sure all three of them just threw dynamite at me. <laughs> they did. Okay, so we got a dead caravaner, we got a dead powder ganger, and what's he gonna say? Damn, running low on smokes again. <laughs> the answer I've ever heard. The only <laughs> bulldoze on site were the kings because you can't do that to the king. And if you don't know who the king is, well, you should take a trip to Memphis and find out. Who's the king? 
make you believe this asshole man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. No matter how you choose to handle the tribes or who you choose to back in the Battle of Hoover Dam, the presidential assassination quest will always be funny. Because if you're back in the NCR, Mr. House, or Yes Man, you've got to prevent it from happening. Hey, yo. God, that, that fucking scared <laughs> me, dude. <laughs> Uh, did that ranger just get blasted off that tower? Um, I think so. Um, I have a quick save. I just want to see if he's going to take his head off. Oh, fuck. He got Oswald. <laughs> Those rangers don't give a shit. They're just standing there. Look at them. Um, um, um. Not going to get away with it this time, you sneaky piece of shit. That's right. Oh, what? Oh my god. What? Wow. Whoa. <laughs> what? Uh, what? Uh, that seems like some. I think it's fuck? not so tapping. No. Get the tower and his torso just <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! That seems like something that Meat Canyon would draw. Should I call this in or just let it grow free? I actually oh don't know god. if he's any any much of a threat any longer. I think that was it. Just one guy. He's on the murder bird. Okay. Alright, he's done. Yeah. That's awesome. Awesome. Oh. oh, you son of a bitch! The game was rigged from the start. This dude is so strong, he powers through save games. Like, I just quick saved. It quick loaded, and he's still here. Oh, Friends my God. I realized siding with the Legion is so much more fun, and sticking it to the dumbass NCR is just icing on the cake. Like, if I bring a missile launcher to a presidential speech and you don't find it suspicious, you deserve <laughs> to have your president vaporized. Do they care? Don't even care that I'm no. whipping out a missile launcher. Goodbye, Mr. President. Oh. You dispatched President. Oh my God! You think? Ah, uh, yes. Real skill. <laughs> <laughs> the sole fact that Kaisar is suffering from a brain tumor and is prone to random fits of headache-induced rage makes his cause worth backing. You'll be talking about a quest and then out of nowhere. God! Oh, God. Damn it! I expect that information can be used to manipulate them. Go to... Oh, no. Oh. God damn it! <laughs> I'm going to lie down. <gasps> if you interfere with me getting some sleep again, I'm going to have you killed. Wow. <laughs> we'll talk later. Those are some migraines. Oh, come on, Caesar, calm, ca calm down. All right, you're not the real Caesar. The real Caesar I voted for, you know, he defeated Pompey. You're just a false imitation. What? Never mind. I don't know. True to Kaiser. <laughs> it's not a full strength chapter, mind you. The profligates. God yes. damn it! <laughs> the profligates. <laughs> <laughs> but because the game ends once the Battle of Hoover Dam is over, it's a solid idea to explore all the wasteland has to offer before you finish the fight. Talk shit to the NCR hit squads that force you to improve your standing with the Republic or suffer the consequences. Oh no. Since you haven't pissed yourself, I'll assume that you don't know who we are. Next time I'll bring my sickle and wear my black cloak. The Ooh. NCR sends us when they want terrible things done to terrible people. Damn You've got three words. days to improve your reputation with the NCR or we come for you without all this pleasant conversation. Yeah, sure. You got it. I'll stop working for Kaiser. <laughs> Man, you're really scary running in the other direction. The DLC is worth checking out, and even though I only played Honest Hearts to avoid making this video two hours long, boy was it ever worth it. Ah, damn it, ambush. Ambush? Can I even, can I even prevent this? Oh, shit. I don't think I can stop this. Yeah, I don't think I can stop this. I think it's designed to happen this way. Or I'm just hitting 20 somehow. I don't know how I hit on 20. What the fuck? Yeah, they're all dead. Forget it. Forget it, fuck. You! I'd highly recommend the Sneering Imperialist trait if you head to Zion, which grants you a 15% damage buff and a bonus hit in VATS against Raiders, Junkies, and Tribals. It's basically weaponized racism, or at the very least a racism buff, and I'm not racist, but I do appreciate doing 15% extra damage and having a bonus hit in VATS. <laughs> what is that damage? Joshua Gram. If you're too dumb to speak my language, you're too um, dumb what? to talk yeah. No! Oh, no! Speaking of Joshua Graham, that's Kaisar's former right-hand man that lost the first battle of Hoover Dam, which ended in him getting covered in pitch, set on fire, and tossed into the Grand Canyon. I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. 
Oh, wow. I fell down into that dark <laughs> pretty cavern. Pretty dramatic. The flame burned on and on. Wow. His crispy ass is the best character in all of New Vegas, and airing out an entire canyon with his pistol pack and 45 buff is some of the most fun I've ever had. The time for talk has passed. The Lord's work must be done. Make no wow. mistake about why we are here. This is an extermination. While Joshua Graham is in your party, any 45 caliber auto pistol you use has less spread and is twice as likely to score critical hits. Wow. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, come on. Kunaman, mad. He killed all white legs. You talk. You stop. <laughs> Whatever. Josh will put a cap in General Gobbledygook. <laughs> <laughs> and once I found my way out of Zion, it was time for the final phase of the plan. You already know what the fuck about to happen. Vegas will fall. The fight for Hoover Dam is radically different depending on which side you're on. Like, you can crush the NCR with something as simple as a hunting shotgun or a Garand. I can already tell this is easier. So much easier Jeez. than taking on the league. Jeez, well, apart from that little bit of friendly fire, this honestly feels like a different difficulty. Like, these rangers fucking suck. <laughs> Did I like drop down to very easy? What is this? I'm sorry, it's a Ranger, difficult it's watching my favorite faction getting <laughs> shot up. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a stack, trooper. It's not safe for you right now. Oh man. That's right. Fuck you and your fake power armor. That shit is whack. It doesn't block anything. Like, what's the point? What's the point? Going up against the Legion is a whole different ball game. That shit is tricky. I mean. Not that tricky because if you slam enough Medex, Jet, and Psycho while flat out abusing the anti material rifle, nothing in this game is that tricky. Rip the homie. Oh, All right, so there we go. The drug that your bullets start doing more damage. I just love that. Best feature of this game. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. But still, fighting <laughs> alongside apart. the Legion is so much more fun and so much more vindicating once you get to wipe that condescending smirk off General Oliver's face. I would sooner spit on the grave of my dead mother than let some courier walk the wasteland fuck talk to me like that. Courier <laughs> walk the wasteland <laughs> fuck? <laughs> would you like to rephrase? I think you're cast out enough to know my chances are pretty good. Chances are pretty good. Just vaporized four rangers. <sighs> oh, this should be good. Shut the fuck up. The highlight for me, beyond boomers dropping high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. Oh my you know what god. I say, Talking about raining high explosive ordnance oh upon my ignorant God. savages, I kind of get it now. Was the appearance of the mysterious stranger and misfortune. Basically, there's these two traits where there's a random chance that a man or woman will show up in vats and blast away the enemy you're engaging, and nothing against the mysterious stranger, but misfortune cannot be done. And crippling someone will always be fun. It will never know. Well, I guess misfortune is just gonna steal the show. Wow. Egg rounds. I'm missing. I'm missing all of those. All oh, misfortune. <laughs> it goes so far when she hits them. Don't you run away from me. Where is he even going? The closet? <laughs> what? Um, okay. It seems like a weird place to... Oh, the serious stranger. <laughs> Yeehaw, chuckle fuck. In the closet of all places. In the oh fucking my God. closet. I still feel like the 40 mil kind of sucks, but I guess it's worth trying out every now and again. Oh, misfortune. That's... <laughs> what? Where did that dude's fucking what? body go? Oh, uh, he's gone. Oh my god. There she is again. And holy shit. She is so much better than Miss. I, I forgot what it what it takes to get misfortune and Oh, uh, I forgot his other name now. Uh, Mr. Luck. I don't know uh, what the names are. No. Uh Mysterious oh, I think Mysterious Stranger. Mysterious yeah, Stranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mysterious, Mysterious Stranger and Misfortune. I forgot what it takes to get those two on your side, so it's been a while since I played that game. Mysterious stranger, it's not even fun. But NCR like for life. Walking artillery go. piece. Come on out, Oliver. So you've played oh, this game <laughs> a long so time ago. Are by far yeah. the best I've, I've heard game. about it. Like they just do so much fucking damage. I didn't know what it was. Dude, look at like. this clown. Fuck the NCR. <laughs> I don't know if the big boomer penetrates. Oh, never mind. Miss Force is just gonna do the work for me. Yeah. Jeez. So it doesn't penetrate, but it still doesn't do a lot of damage. Oh, there's Miss. Is that a misfortune hit on two consecutive vats? Is this shit broken? Is three in a row possible? Could the. Well, never mind. 
Never mind. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. <laughs> I had to. It's the last dude. It's the last dude. That's and awesome. That's the story of how we crushed the NCR and took Hoover Dam. God willing, Kaiser does the same shit to California because Lord knows it needs to happen. Jesus <laughs> me. Perhaps in time I will be granted the honor of conquering the land known as California. Yeah. For now, come. We must see to the burning of the dead. Don't f Speaking of burning, I know the entire West Coast is a heat wave happening. I know, I it's know. crazy. Crazy. Don't like, forget to take a sip hot. from your trusty Vault 13 canteen on the way out. You don't want to get dehydrated in the Mojave. You just sold a bunch of human flesh <laughs> to gun runners. You take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. You take a sip from your trusty <laughs> Vault 13 canteen. Just slaughtered an elderly couple to take <laughs> no. sips from canteen. Sips from the canteen. God, dude, you take Take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 <laughs> canteen. Close up, Brotherhood of Steel Bunker. Take sip <laughs> from trusty Vault 13 canteen. You take Jeez. a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. I have been chugging out of this <laughs> for 40 seconds to not waste a stim pack. And what am I doing while I'm chugging out of a sink? I'm taking a sip that's from awesome. my trusty Vault 13. <laughs> <laughs> and that's about it. That's all I got to say. A final fuck the NCR for being oh. pedantic pieces of shit. Trolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. And make oh, Kaiser rule the Mojave for all of eternity. True to Kaiser. Yes, man, is also a solid option. But I'll stop now. It's time for this video to end. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. Oh. NCR for life. We'll be back. Hmm. Yeah, that was wild. That's a lot of bo exploding bodies. Well, yes, that 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 is true. Uh, but you know, I I think we learned something about living in New Vegas, and that is, if you play your cards right, you hit the slot machines correctly, mm. you and you can become a winner. And it's degenerates like us that belong off the cross. Yeah, that's for sure. I don't know if anybody's a winner and. This New Vegas. People I, seem to be exploded a lot. I think we're winners. Okay. You want to know why? I'll take it. Why? Because, because we're not blown up. No, that's true. We're still here, live, full, I think. All right. So uh, while we're still here, be sure to <laughs> like, comment, share, and subscribe because, you know, you, you never know if uh, there's going to be a nuclear winter. So uh, uh, check us out before that ever happens. <laughs> Bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>